to keep up. Sunday, hour and a half run on the trail. Usually for marathon training, I would run mostly on road just to become familiar with the terrain. It's so nice though with these trails in my backyard. This is in Irvine, Orange County. It's literally a mile and a half from my house. So two and a half K from my house is the start of this trail. So it's nice to mix things up. And since I'm only looking really at time on my feet, it doesn't really matter to me whether I run six miles, eight miles, 10 miles. It's just being out there. I still wear the heart rate monitor, so I'm staying within my MEF heart rate zone. For me, it's now 133 to 143. But even when I feel tired sometimes, I start walking for a little bit. Or when there's a hill, I start walking for a little bit. That's the beauty of it. So just gradually continuing to build up the training volume, just having fun out there on the trail. Let's keep going. Pretty technical, so I have to pay attention. Boom. Even in the middle of the day, I just ran into a spider web. <laughs> I kid you not, I had a spider on my tongue a few weeks ago. I was running in Seattle with my mouth open on a trail, but I didn't realize that my mouth open. I was kind of like breathing up. And sure enough, <laughs> the spider touched my tongue. And just now I ran through another spider web. So yeah, pay good attention and run with your mouth closed. So I got some spider web on the lens. We're getting some steepness again, so I'm just gonna hike. Even now, on my hike 150 heart rate, it's higher while climbing on a hike in the heat than it is running eight minute miles on flat. You get a lot of benefits from just hiking, friends. A lot of benefits. Made it the top of the hill one of the platforms over here and yeah surely was taking several walk breaks and then jogging for a little bit walking sometimes even standing still take some pictures and it's such a different mindset from running on road i remember when i was running on road i was so used to always running non-stop and then when i went to trail definitely had to get used to it at the beginning again but now that i'm so used to running trail very enjoyable. You don't feel guilty taking a walk break on a trail because it's just natural. It's too steep to run or your heart rate goes too high. And when you can take that concept and take that over to street running, road running as well, it's actually quite beneficial. Sometimes I do it on road as well. I run for half an hour and then I see a shaded area with a drink fountain. I just stop for a minute, drink something and then continue. These runs should be enjoyable. It shouldn't be punishment. And if that kind of lowers the heart rate again so you can keep going and feel good, go for it. Now we got a nice little downhiller over here. Let's do it. All right, about an hour into my run. Look what a beauty I see right ahead of me. Beautiful rattlesnake. Hard to tell, and he's right in the middle of the path. So you can see him clearly. It's a mellow path, so he hears me. He's looking at me, and we're staying far away. It's quite dry out. What used to be so nice and green. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, bud. Nice big tarantula. I think it's huge. It's the size of my fist. <laughs> I 
It's an adventurous run today. <laughs> Rattlesnakes, tarantulas. That's good. That's why we always keep an eye on the trail. 17 minutes, heart rate 117, 116. So yeah, for me, uh, I'm good. Here we go. I'll jump in the ice bath and uh, call it a day. Good workout. It is a Tuesday, and I'm taking it easy today. First run of the week. I wasn't even, didn't have any running gear with me today. It's working outside of the office. But still figured let's go out for a little run. So, wearing my Vivo barefoot shoes. Not even wearing running shorts or anything, but yeah, just taking it really easy. Heart rate is very low. I think it's at about 120. On the uphill earlier it went up to about 130, but purely enjoying being out on my feet. That's why I enjoy looking at the time on my feet and not the distance. Actually, I uh, feel no pressure at all. Just having fun out there. It really is a switch in your mind once you start looking at time on your feet versus today I have to run eight miles in this space or that distance. Today just felt like a recovery day. Um, although I took a rest day off yesterday, I still didn't feel mega energized to uh, go out for a hard workout. So this works out good. Probably about 45 minutes mellow recovery run. With the recovery run, I think most people have the hardest time slowing down enough. <laughs> I see a lot of people doing the recovery run still at a pretty high intensity, but even a long duration too. I see 90 minutes to two hour recovery runs. For some people that's doable, but for most people that's, your body's still getting quite a bit of stress at that point. So I usually keep my recovery runs at 30, 45, occasionally up to an hour. Nice little downhill to pick up a pace and the cadence a bit. <laughs> With these very thin soles, it's definitely more sensitive, but you automatically start taking smaller steps. And I end up jumping over to the dirt quite frequent too, just because it feels nice and soft. Just gotta watch out for the little uh, rocks. It always fascinates me at the beginning of today's workout. Wasn't really feeling it. It's just gonna keep the heart rate to 110, 120. Just really run by feel and running mellow. Had a few hills, went slowly up, and then was able to run faster down. And sure enough, totally got excited to run again. Now I've been out for 45 minutes and totally getting back in the groove again. So it's it's nice. I think sometimes you just gotta go out of the door, put on your shoes, and start walking for a bit or a gradual jog but from there on automatically as your body warms up your happiness hormones get released it just feels so nice look at that it's purely a pickup here we go the crew yeah, that's it. look at that sunset 